Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number Seven Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermon that is called "Humble Pie and Stop Robbing God." of the credit that he deserves. Stop robbing God of his rightful glory because that's what we do when we're prideful. And God has something for us all. It's called humble pie. The first Bible verse that I want to read is 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 20. And for this cause, Hezekiah the king and the prophet Isaiah and the son of Amos prayed and cried out to heaven and the Lord sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and the captains of the in the camp of the king of Syria so he returned with shame of face to his own land and when he was come into the house of his God they that came forth out of his own bowels slew him there with their sword when it says they that came from his own bowels, basically this is talking about the king of Syria's own children killed him when he lost shamefully to the hands of Jehovah. See, the king of Syria got so beside himself for a, a, a reason, okay? And I'm going to say a good reason. The reason why king has, uh, uh, the king of Assyria got beside himself is because he had so much victory. See, by his own hands, he saw many great nations who were powerful. He saw them get destroyed because of his military. But guess what? King of Syria got so beside himself that he was so bragging and so boastful towards Hezekiah and towards Jehovah. And see, this is what happened is that because he was threatening them and bragging and boasting, the king Hezekiah cried out to God. The Bible says that he cried out and he prayed with Isaiah and when he did that, the Bible also says that God heard his cry. God heard his prayer. And God sent one single angel to completely annihilate the king of Assyria's army. And the king of Assyria, he was spared his life from the hands of Jehovah. His life was spared from the hands of Hezekiah and the army. And he went back to his own land with his head bowed down, disgracefully defeated, and his own children destroyed him. And see, a lot of times as Christians, we, like Hezekiah, we won't cry out to God. We won't begin to pray fervently up until we're facing devastation. A lot of times that happens, just like the 911 attack. When that happened, they said that church going was at an ultimate high. See, it's at the times that we're afraid of our own life being destroyed or everything is falling apart. That's when we start to cry out to God. A lot of times when everything is going good in our life, we sometimes get beside ourselves and we start to thinking that we're greater than we really are. The truth is, is that we are so fragile people. We're so uh, vulnerable to everything. It's not but God's grace that protects us and wakes us up every single day. And when we realize that, we have absolutely no room. We have no room for pride. And see, we're ultimately gonna eat the bitter defeat of humble pie, or we're gonna eat the sweet victory of humble pie, depending on whether we have to humble ourselves or whether God humbles us for us. And I wanna encourage you to humble yourself before it's too late. The next Bible verse that I want to read is chapter 32, verse 26. Notwithstanding, Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart, both he and the inhibitors of Jerusalem, so that the wrath of the Lord came not upon them in the days of Hezekiah. Notice again that Hezekiah got sick, and Hezekiah did not humble himself 
up until after he got sick. I see this take place all the time. A lot of people won't even consider God until they're stuck struck with cancer or AIDS or they're, they got in a car accident and then they cry out to God for help. But check this out, in God's goodness and mercy, when he cried out to help to God, when he was uh, sick, it says that he was sick unto death. In other, in other words, he was about to die and God was going to destroy Hezekiah and the people of the land. All right, but Hezekiah humbled himself again and God spared him. And the Bible says this, with his humility, God not only, not only did he spare Hezekiah, he spared the people of Israel, okay? So when we humble ourselves in our own life, not only will God have mercy and favor on ourselves, when we humble ourselves in our life, God will have mercy and favor to those around us. See, the blessings don't just come for us, but for those that are close to us. They also enjoy the favor of the humility in our life. That's how important it is for us to humble ourselves. The next Bible verse that I want to read is in uh, 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 15. And it says, and he said, what have they seen in thy house? And Hezekiah answered, all the things that are in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among the treasures I have not showed them. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah, hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days are come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in the store unto this day shall be carried into Babylon and nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Once again, Hezekiah had an issue with pride. He showed all the people of Babylon, he showed them every single thing that he owned. You know, sometimes as Christians, we can be like little kids. Like we can bring people over to our house. Do you see my car? Do you see my big screen TV? Do you see this gold and jewelry that I have? And just bragging and bragging and showing people all the things that you have. But the worst part about it is that he didn't give God, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider, he didn't give him credit for anything. That's an abomination. And God said through Isaiah, because you've done that, everything that you own is going to be given away to other people. God bless you. Number seven ministries, the spirit of the Lord is on me.